This is the Oak Boat Shop and my name is Rod. In this episode, I'm going to be steam bending all of the frames to fit inside the boat. I have my lumber soaking. I've cut them all to the proper dimensions. I have them been soaking in a big tube full of water and I actually added a little bit of fabric softener to that uh, just to help with the softening process. And uh, we out of the out of the water, put them in the steam box and uh, start putting them in the boat. So let's get to it. From experience, I've learned that it's a little bit difficult to get the bottom of the uh, frame to lay flat across the uh, the hog or the keelson in the bottom of the boat, and then to take a sort of a start to take a curve somewhere up in this area here. So I'm just going to make a little jig, uh, which I can start the bend on the workbench to make a sort of a sharp curve here and here, and then I can bring it over to the boat and start to curve it in between the uh, between the rivets here. So let's go over to the workbench and make that. So I'm just taking some strap 2 by 2s cutting into uh, various lengths here, one at uh, two or three inches, which is the width of the actual hog. Then I just drilled some holes through the blocks and oversized them so that my screws will fit through the holes and into a nice little scrap piece of plywood. With my bending jig already clamped down on my workbench here, close to the boat so I can move very quickly, I've got my lumber soaking. It's time to fire up the steam box.
For the uh, half ribs inside here, I actually need to redo them. I kind of forgot a little thing here in that when the floorboards are going to come resting across here, these all need to be the same height. And I had steamed these original first couple of ribs to actually go right down into the bottom of the boat like that. So that would mean that the floorboards are going to be kind of rocky. So I've got a few spacers underneath here where I need them. The same height as the uh, Kielsen. Just some scrap pieces in there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to clamp a piece of wood on either side like such. And then when I steam these ribs into here, I'll be able to jam this rib into underneath there, push it down onto the first overlap here, because that's where I want it to touch. So this has not got quite the bend I need into it. I mean, it fits perfectly without the little spacer under here. With the back side of all of the ribs with a couple of coats of varnish to seal them up when they're sitting in the boat permanently, and a couple of coats of sealer varnish on the inside of the hull, it's time to install all of these frames. Now, when I, before I took them out, I did trim a bit of the tops off, but I also numbered all of them and uh, numbered them all on the uh, starboard side so I know which way they all go back in. So let's get to installing all of these frames with rivets. I'm going to do one rivet at a time, and that is just kind of making sure that it's nicely lined up evenly between the existing rivets. The materials I'm going to be using are, I'm going to be using a number eight by three quarter inch silicon bronze screw. That is going to go through the center of the rib into the uh, keelson. Then between the planking here and the ribs, I will be using a number 14 gauge copper rivet and the same row size as is already in the boat. So it's the same size of a rivet, just a little longer than the ones that I've already put into the planking. So I've got all my materials here laid out and I'm ready to go. First uh, rib, first frame is positioned. I like to just make sure that it is banged nicely down into the bottom of the boat and away we go. So I will work my way from the center line out. Now one could just be using a uh, bronze ring nail, but uh, I like to have everything somewhat removable.
And with that last rivet, the framing is done and all in place. So now with that done, I can move on to uh, some of the trim. So in the next few episodes, we'll be looking at putting in the rails, the guards, uh, finishing up the dagger board, uh, mast step, all kinds of parts and pieces that'll be done in the next few episodes. So thank you very much for watching. See you next time here at the Orca Boat Shop. And again, as always, thank you very much for watching. And hey, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and uh, maybe consider becoming a subscriber because lots of videos coming out of the shop as new builds happen and restorations are undertaken.